You must obey the Opidian Commander, giving out the orders for fun. You must obey the Opidian Commander, cause he's the only one. All right? Actually, I suspect Dr. Weasel and Advic Goose were electing strandees on the planet Vertex wish they'd listen to Commander Perpex, because right here and now, they're not looking at fun. They're looking at the mysterious, pulsating blue creature that calls itself the Amadeus. And its rhythms aren't ones you can dance to in part five of The Vacant Hive. Well, I must say, it makes a change to be captured by something with such a pretty colour. Tell me, Mr. The Amadeus, just who are you? Uh, what did you do to the former sites? And uh, where's my Weasdis? All in good time, Dr. Weasel. But first, are those strands of women that my former sites have bound around you, holding you securely in place? Yes, yes, very nice and tight. Thank you ever so much for the hospitality. Advic, there's a time and a place for better sarcasm. Doctor, that's my line, and i rather get your point, yes. I'll, uh, shut up! You lower order sentience are so baffling at times. Here you are, at the heart of my power, and yet all you can do is bicker. If you just let me under this webbing, Colin, I'll show you more than bickering. I'll show you fighting the likes of which you've never seen before. So consider yourself on notice. Colin? Colin? Ah, oh, I understand. You seek to engage me in a primitive rage reflex, though mocking my correct appellation with the diminutive of your own construction. How understandably primitive of you. Okay, Colin, if we're so primitive, why don't you enlighten us about a few things then? Yes, like, where's the tea? Uh, there will be tea, right? Uh, the nectar stuff we had last night was nice enough a bit too sticky, but uh, it's not a patchal spot of Darjeeling. You have no need to ingest nutrition now you are embedded within my webbing. As your bodies slowly integrate into my structures, they will be nourished topically at first, and then once you are fully absorbed, intravenously. Uh, well, yeah, that's all right then. Uh, hang on. Did this blue thingy say absorbed? I'm more worried about intravenously. Doesn't that mean a tube up the bottom? No, Doctor. It means directly into our blood. Oh, no! It's some kind of giant reverse vampire. But, hmm... Look around you, Advic. This whole former side mound is covered in strands from this big glowing ball of string here. You mean the mound is made up of 100% Colin fibres? My heavens, what must the maid servants think? Come, Doctor Advic. You are creatures of science. Did not this process fascinate you? To slowly lose your sense of fragile individuality and merge with the greater gestalt that compromises the Amadeus? Think what it would be like to be a creature of pure thought, pure intellect. Well, blue's never really been my colour. Yeah, that does sound spiffing and all, Colin. But you see, I've rather liked my time weasel body, and I've got to go attached to it over the years. The idea of spending the rest of my regeneration stuck inside some form of oversized novelty rubber band ball, frankly, bores me rigid. You mock what you don't understand, time weasel. The experience I give to you I do not grant to every creature. The opinions, too short-lived and easily distracted. The former sites, true, I have integrated their hive mind. But they are not truly one with me. Okay, right. Uh, so it's going to be a pleasure to be you. Although, I'm still not really sure why you've picked that Vic too. Now, Eternity Baum is somewhat obsessive about making sure his tea is just the right shade of brown. Oh, it'd drive me potty. Your simple-minded companion is more than you credit him, Doctor. Already I feel the edge of his keen mathematical mind. And soon, that too will be added to my greatness. As Advic and the Doctor began to realise the enormity of the trouble they were in, just a few miles away, Commander Perplex and his Apidian troopers had gathered on the rise, overlooking the Amadeus's mound. Perplex, has the Doctor or his companion emerged from the former site mound? I regret, Commander, there has been no sign of them since their former site capture. I fear they will have been killed by now. No, Draz. 
I sense the doctor is a creature with a cunning mind. I'm gifted in the arts of survival. If anyone can survive within our enemy's hive, it is he. I fear we must attempt a rescue. Why, Commander? If the doctor is as gifted as surviving as you say, then surely he will have the ability to escape by himself. Yes, but I fear there are two reasons why we cannot wait. Firstly, he knows too much about our coming liberation force. If he were to divulge the landing location to the former sites, they could ambush our forces. True! Any other reason? From what the doctor told me of his escapade in other worlds, he makes a heavy usage of convenient ventilation ducts to escape through. But the former site mound only has tiny spherules to allow air to circulate. There are no ducks wide enough for him to wiggle through. Exactly, Trooper Draws. And that is why we must rescue him. Or else ensure he does not live long enough to share our secrets. To arms, my scout troopers. We attack at once. As Perplex's troops began their airborne assault in the chamber of the Amadeus, the Doctor was putting up a stiff defence. Cease your struggling, Doctor. You will submit to my will, and then I will know all that you do, all that you are. No! No! Wait, everything? Yes, Doctor. Everything that makes you Doctor Weasel will become part of the glory of the Amadeus. Even stuff that I never told anyone, my most secret secrets, my true name, the reason I ran away from Galloway. You told me the time a weasel high council were after you were fiddling your expenses. Yes, but uh, the real reason is much, much more shocking. I'm probably worth a 50th anniversary special or something. You talk in riddles and hide behind nonsense, Doctor. But soon, my mind will have access to the naked, unvarnished truth. And I sense you know secrets that will allow me to spread my consciousness across the entirety of the cosmos. I will make the entire universe me! Oh, flying, flaming flamenco flippers. I think, I think I'm going to have to do something rash. I changed the habit of a lifetime, Doctor. But you do realise what the Amadeus could do if it absorbs all your knowledge of time travel. Yes, Advec, and that's why I'm going to call his bluff and fight him on the psychic plane. Intellect to intellect. Do you really think that's wise, Doctor? Shut up, Goose. I need all of my willpower to force the link. <laughs> Oh my stars, a battle of wills. Time Weasel versus the Amadeus, with control over the entire universe at stake. That's right, Weasel fans, it doesn't get more at stakey than this. But will the Doctor prevail against an intellect as ancient and vast as the Amadeus? Will Advec Goose get absorbed in the meanwhile? Or will Commander Perplex's brave, buzzing trooper stage a last minute rescue? I'm not sure I can wait to find out, but I'm going to have to in part six of The Vacant Hive. A Dr. Weasel is a weasel teleorient prize production featuring Randolph Weasel and Dr. Weasel, Coonton Goose, Abbey Goose, and Paul Harry Harrison as the Amadeus. Mm -hmm.